Well, good morning, everyone. It is meteorologist Kelly Bayern here in the Coin Now digital booth, giving you another look at the weather as we head our way into the weekend. We have some uh, exciting and great moments to get outside uh, with some uh, pleasant temperatures, but also a chance for some rain that might disrupt some plans out there. So um, let's get into the forecast. Uh, first of all, it is really starting to feel kind of like fall time, which is exciting stuff. So uh, just a quick look here at uh, some of the weather topics that we're going to talk about heading into um, this uh, live stream here. So weekend rain showers, again, uh, I'm not expecting it to be a soaker of a weekend, but you might see some wet weather at times. Um, so we'll talk about the timing of those rain showers and when. And uh, we'll see some of the best moments to get outside. Also, looking at some rain next week, too. We could see quite the soggy couple of days next week. Um, also, back on the docket. Uh, and then temperatures in general are fluctuating uh, here around the region. Um, we have a chance to see some heat, too, as we work our way into uh, late next week. There is, a, uh, there is a trend here where temperatures might start to creep back up into the 80s. So we'll talk about uh, talk about that too as well as we head our way into it so let's get going here in the forecast um, just a live look outside right now at the satellite and radar and there is this big low that is spinning in the Gulf of Alaska um, and it's got a nice cold front that is uh, shifting its way towards us bringing in a blanket of clouds now it's still very much offshore so we're not really seeing um, any rain from this system yet or really any clouds either it's been quite the cool start in fact we even have have uh, some freeze warnings in place. I think those are actually over now, but in areas of central and eastern Oregon, uh, cold enough um, without the clouds last night uh, to get some freezing temperatures. Uh, so again, we'll start to see these clouds creeping in as we head into our evening from that system. Uh, that is offshore right now and mainly over the ocean. But a closer look at the satellite and radar, uh, not seeing much action in the state. Maybe a few showers out towards uh, southeastern Washington, out towards the Tri-Cities. Um, otherwise, it is quite dry here in the Willamette Valley and also pleasant. We're seeing some nice sunshine around the area. That camera right there is a live view at the Dahlia Fields at the Swan Island Dahlia's Farm. I still need to get out there and go um, see those flowers in person. It just looks so beautiful, but on our weather cameras, we're getting... Um, so much color from the flowers, so not a bad place to go to this weekend if you uh, need something to do. Closer look again, uh, not really seeing much rainfall. It is just so quiet here. Some patchy high clouds out there, but we're getting lots of sunshine too. So here's our feature cast. Let's time out uh, this cold front shifting in. Now we'll just get clipped by uh, the system here, and it isn't going to pack much of a punch. Uh, but we do have a chance to see those clouds spreading by tonight and uh, maybe some showers on Saturday. So here is the future cast paused around lunch today. Notice how we are still dry as we head our way into the evening hours. Uh, we start to see those clouds increase. So if you have any plans tonight beyond 7 p.m., it's likely going to be pretty cloudy. But I also think it'll still be dry tonight. So any events, um, if you're traveling around town, probably no issues or impacts. Maybe a little cool. I would pack a jacket, but we're looking mainly dry. There might be some sprinkles that linger in areas of southwest Washington, like up to Callitz County. Um, but I think Portland and much of the Valley should be pretty dry. We then get to our overnight hours and this front and the moisture starts to approach again. It does look very weak. We're not really seeing much rainfall in this system. So possibly a few areas of drizzle or sprinkles. Now, if you've got any games with your kids outside at the fields or the park, possibly some sprinkles. So keep um, that in mind and uh, maybe have some rain gear with you. Uh, for those early morning games. We then get to the afternoon, and that's when the bulk of the moisture arrives. And again, it's really not looking too soggy. Our weather models are showing very low rain amounts, um, and these rain showers will likely be pretty scattered in nature. Um, there could be a little bit of lift or unsettled conditions, so there is a slight chance that we see maybe some downpours, um, but the rain itself is not going to be a widespread rain where it's just soggy. It's going to be dry, then a shower pulls in real fast, and and uh, these showers should be pretty short-lived and, again, scattered and spotty about the valley. So not expecting a super soaker of a day tomorrow, but a chance we see some showers that you'll likely have to dodge off and on as we hit the afternoon. Still a great 
uh, Saturday to get outside. I think we'll get plenty of dry moments, but that chance for rain and those showers certainly in the mix as we hit the afternoon and evening. Now, Sunday, we might see a few showers for the coast in the morning, but if you look at Western Oregon, we start to dry out. So I do see some drier conditions by the afternoon on Sunday. That's another good moment uh, this weekend to get outside. Look at the rest of the state here out towards uh, Bend, Oregon, uh, portions of Southern Oregon, the Rogue and Klamath Basins, also out to Malheur, Harney Counties, uh, Eastern Oregon, possibly some thunderstorms as we get more moisture kind of shifting around this low um, in the region. So we could see some unsettled conditions and possibly some thunderstorms. The good news is we are much cooler across the entire state going into this weekend, so that fire threat likely pretty low. There's been a lot of moisture and just cooler air, so our fire danger will stay low, but it's always concerning. Um, and unfun if you're recreating out there to see thunderstorms in the forecast. So keep that in mind. Uh, could see some thunderstorms as we head our way into uh, the weekend there out in central and southern eastern Oregon. Now here's a peek at the forecast rain totals in Portland. Again, two models that we keep our eyes on, the GFS and the uh, Euro model. Um, the GFS is going full dry conditions this weekend. So the other model showing just about a tenth of an inch of rain, a little more bullish on these uh, forecast numbers and rain total numbers. So again, I think we will see very spotty rain showers in Portland. Um, some of you folks in some neighborhoods may not get any rain at all. So it's going to be very scattered, very hit or miss. You'll likely dodge these showers. So if you have outdoor plans, I wouldn't cancel them. Just be ready and maybe bring that rain jacket for uh, those chances of rain showers. Now looking at the rest of the week here, I'm keeping an eye on Tuesday. That's when our next uh, larger fall-like system moves into the region where we could see more widespread rainy conditions. So Tuesday and also through Wednesday, we might see um, that rain shifting in. There is still time for um, these models to adjust on the timing of the rain coming in, but uh, we've kind of been pinpointing Tuesday as our rainiest day heading into next week. So um, keep that in mind too. If you've got any plans for next week, Tuesday could be that rainy day. A look at forecast highs. Uh, the next 10 days here, we do keep that cooler trend in Portland. Um, today, low 70s. The weekend, we're in the low 70s, maybe upper 60s. Monday, back in the lower 70s. And then it's Tuesday and Wednesday when that rain moves in our next weather system that'll really bring down temperatures um, here in Portland. So I am expecting to see the 60s on Tuesday, just a rainy and cold day in Portland, really, really bringing in those fall vibes back to the city. Uh, then look at the hike in temperatures. Some models are showing maybe another round of some warmer conditions, not expecting excessive heat, but seeing the 80s back in the forecast, maybe above normal as we uh, head our way into the back half of September. So also interesting to see in the trend. I am still a fan of wanting some some drier days. I don't want the heat, but I do want the warm and dry days. So maybe we'll get that next weekend. Uh, we'll definitely keep our eyes on um, that trend as we head our way into it. Okay, here's a look at uh, the Ducks and the uh, Beavers this weekend. It's uh, the weekend of rivalry games since they changed up all of the, the Pac-12, all of those divisions. It's very confusing for me as someone who doesn't really follow sports, but um, yeah, should be fun. I hope both teams have a great time out there. You know, I almost went to um, OSU for college as an engineer. So I think because of that, I'm going to say go Beavers. And also as a Husky, not a fan of the Ducks. The only time I'll root for the Ducks is when we're playing maybe another state that isn't Washington. So got to say it, go Beavs. And just hearing some murmurings, it does um, – sound like uh, the Ducks are having a hard time this season. So for all the Ducks fans, I'm sorry. For all the Beavers fans, let's get that win this week. And if you'll be out there, upper 60s, near 70s. I don't think we'll see much rain in Corvallis, but a scattered shower is possible. So don't be shocked um, if you get uh, a quick shower for the game. Kickoff at 1230, but it should be a lot of fun. Um, if you're tailgating, be safe, enjoy the game, and uh, what an awesome weekend. Same for the Cougs and the Huskies. It does look kind of rainy up there this weekend in Seattle. i got to say, go Huskies. Um, I was looking at stats for the Huskies, and I think in history, the Huskies have won 77 of the Apple Cups, and the Cougs have only won 33, somewhere in that range. So we... Huskies have been dominating for a while. I know last year was really, really close. <laughs> so um, let's get that win, Huskies. Hopefully we can do it. 
Go dogs. Um, and if you'll be up there in Seattle, expect to see some rain. Um, also, so much to do this weekend. Oktoberfest at Mount Angel. It's uh, today through Sunday. Um, we'll see some nice conditions today. Partly sunny. Real gorgeous. Low 70s at Mount Angel. And then we get to Saturday. And again, those showers might pop in. So uh, dodging showers out there too. And Sunday, we're um, drying out. Maybe a quick sprinkle or two that lingers. But um, Sunday also looks great. So if you had to pick a day um, to avoid the rain, don't go on Saturday. But again, the rain is not going to be super heavy so I think you'll have a great time out there um, as we hit the low 70s and uh, hopefully your Lederhosen are waterproof if we do see any of those showers quick look at the coast this weekend back in the 60s also tracking scattered showers um, I don't think it'll be a super soaker out there either the system that's coming in this weekend is going to be such a weak one and the rain is so spread out so maybe at times a light shower and that's about it uh, we're back in the lower 60s as we head towards our Sunday. So here's our seven-day forecast as we wrap up this live stream. We are mostly below normal and cooler for the next seven or so days. And that means we're going to sit in the 70s mainly. It gets a little cooler by the middle of next week when that rain shifts in back to the 60s. But in general, pretty dry weekend aside from those scattered showers on Saturday. Um, just be ready for it. Again, we are starting to phase into fall weather where the temperatures are are likely not going to be in the triple digits anymore or even the 90s and uh, much more pleasant so pleasant days ahead a little bit of rain on saturday we'll track next week's rainy uh tuesday and or maybe wednesday otherwise enjoy the weekend be really safe out there have a lot of fun and hope you find some time to get outside again i'm meteorologist kelly bayern in the uh, coin now digital booth um steve pierce will be back on uh, tv here on coin six at noon we got our josh cozart this evening. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you in uh, the next live stream. All right. See you later.